Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of my Blueprint Combinator scripting method. Now today we'll be talking about the if statement, one of the more complicated uh, statements of the four. So if I were to just kind of grab my copy, control C, and let's just drag it over here. All right, so now everything's down. Let's actually go over what you need to know to actually program one of these things. So just like the uh, wait statement from the first episode, we have our five conditional decider combinators that are all looking for a condition to be met. And they'll decide if it's a yes or a no. The next combinator in the list is basically going to decide how many uh, conditions need to be met to give a yes or a no. By default, it is set to one condition needs to be met to give a yes. You can just reprogram this to say needs to be greater than three to be, say you need four of these to be yeses for it to play out. We'll just leave that as a zero for now. Then next, you'd have your constant combinator for the yes. So you basically put in the value of what a yes should be. And then in the next one over here, you'd also program what should be a no. Finally, to make sure the whole thing can do its full test or pass all of its checkers, so we have our full rack of lights on the right, uh, we have a constant combinator in the left that you just punch in all the values to get all of the uh, decider combinators for our conditions to be a yes. Once that has checked out, then we pass over checks and we can play, though before we do that, we probably want to hook up a wire. In fact, I'll probably do this right now for you guys. So let's grab a wire from this content combinator or wherever your source is. If you have a core, you'd probably be pulling from your rack of uh, mathematical or athmeratical constant, uh, athmeratical combinators I provided you. And doesn't matter which wire you use, red or green, and you just connect to this con to this decider combinator up here. And I'm getting my constant athmeratic and uh, decider combinators all mixed up today. <laughs> uh, oh well. All right, so now let's actually do a bit of a demonstration. I have already made a book here. We're going to put this book here and let's program this thing real quick for you guys. So. For a yes, we want blueprint number two. For a no, we want blueprint number three. And then we are looking for M being greater than one, or greater than zero, my bad. And I'll leave that to default because it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll get my M value ready. And statement won't play because we haven't passed the test yet, hence our cyan light not coming on. If I put this in, we pass that light, now I just have to let the statement run. Hopefully this works just fine. So if I scroll out, and let's play. We have a yes, that was blueprint number two, and if I double check in my book, Blueprint number two was a robo port. So if I were to just clean up real quick, do, 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 how, yep, right here. This is always a fun part. Turn you back on. Somehow I miss a light. That's always interesting. And we're going to reconnect you. And now we're going to say we don't have it. So now we do the test again. And we got no. That's simple. I hope you guys all learned something from this today. And I wish you best of luck with your Combinator scriptings. In any case, I'll see you again on my next episode. Have a good one.